Well, good evening, everyone. Not much is going to change with this weather pattern over the next couple of days, but we do have much cooler air kind of pooling and gathering in Idaho, Montana, and as you go up into Canada, that's where we're having temperatures in the 60s for afternoon highs. Part of that air mass is going to drop to the southeast this weekend. We'll see just a piece of it very early next week, but you may not even notice the difference. It'll just shave off a little bit of the humidity. Now, a bigger push of cooler air is going to be coming in next weekend, so we're really going to start to get a taste of fall by then. Today and tomorrow, it's going to be more of the same. Had quite a few thunderstorms to our south today, noticing the blow-off cirrus clouds coming in from the south, and there's a few isolated storms out there, but the bigger picture, everything happening in the Rocky Mountains right now with the storm systems gathering there and the cold front and the jet stream is all going to be coming into the southeast over the next couple of weeks, so this weather pattern is changing. Summer is breaking down and it's not going to put up a big fight as we go into next weekend as that cooler air moves in. So we're not looking at any uh, threat of severe weather, just a change in the air mass. By the noon hour tomorrow, it's the same old song and dance we've had all week long. Isolated, heavy downpours, few thunderstorms and some locally heavy rain. Most of that will be gone by kickoff time for those high school football games. Here's your seven-day forecast, and you don't really notice a huge change here, but we are slowly dropping back into the 80s. Sunday, even into Monday, still a chance for some of these isolated storms as the front may not quite make it all the way through, but still going to look at that later this evening, have an update coming up after the NFL game tonight. I think we're going on about 10.30 tonight. May shave some of those temperatures down a bit more and take some of that rain off of there. But then as we get past Thursday next week, that's when the really cooler air arrives. Could see highs in the upper 70s with lows in the 50s next weekend, and I'm ready for that. I'll see you tonight after the ball game.